there's there's totally a fly in here there's 100 percent a fly in here it is like 34 degrees celsius outside which is um there's that there's that toilet i was talking about in my last video <laughs> Let's get into it here. I went and uh, I shot a bunch of pictures with this original Fujifilm X100. You can see I've got it fully hipstered up with this screaming red thumb grip and, and the rope strap and the soft release and the lens hood. I had a silver thumb grip on it that uh, I didn't like. Um, I'll put the brand below and recommend that you don't buy it. This is just uh, some cheap Amazon thumb grip. It was like 10 bucks or something like that. Uh, it's perfect. It's it's long enough. It's secure. You screw it down. It's great. So this camera, I talked about it in my last video. I found it for $300 Canadian on eBay and I thought, well, I'll give it a shot. I've always wanted an X100 and I've shot with the newer ones. I've never shot with the original. So I thought, well, let's see what it's like. I upgraded the firmware to the latest firmware. So it's 2.11 or something like that. And uh, the startup time is a lot faster. Just uh, if you want to watch the old video, this is a comparison. Here we go. There we go. I mean, it's like normal. I'm blown away, blown away by this camera. It's a it's a 12.2 megapixel APS-C non X trans sensor. It's not a, a current camera by any means. It's seven or eight years old. It, it was announced in 2010. This camera, and I think, officially came to market in 2011. I think it's outstanding. It's absolutely outstanding. I cannot get over how good this camera is. The autofocus speed is way better than I expected. The write speed is a little slow. So the processor, like it's an older processor, I get it. Like it's, it's not gonna be the fastest thing to write to a card, but I mean, it's totally usable. Uh, this lens is still, I believe, the exact same lens that they use on the current X100F. It's a 23mm f2 uh, fixed prime. This is it. This is what you get. You can buy teleconverter and wide lenses that screw onto here. I've never used one and uh, I would just rather shoot with this lens because it's just wonderful. It's a wonderful lens. It's sharp. It's, it's just, it's when you have a, a fixed lens that's designed specifically for this one purpose, so this one camera, you can engineer it a lot better than you can interchangeable lenses, even though, I mean, Fuji's interchangeable lenses are very, very good, but you've been seeing some of the pictures sort of scroll by here as I'm talking about this thing. Um, I don't know what I was expecting when I bought this camera, but I was not expecting to be as impressed with it as I am. You can still crop in on this. If you shoot raw, um, you can absolutely crop in on these photos, especially if you're just using them for uh, Instagram or sharing them online. The dynamic range of this sensor is, I, I can't even explain it. I almost feel bad talking about how good it is because I have all these other X series cameras and the dynamic range on them is also very good. But this X100 is phenomenal. It's a phenomenal camera. That 12 megapixel sensor has blown my mind. And uh, I'm so, I've never been as excited as I am about owning a camera as this camera right here. And I didn't expect it. I thought that it would just be fun to have. It was super cheap. I took a chance on it. And um, I'm really glad I did because yeah, I love this little camera. Uh, I'm not going to go into like excruciating detail. Obviously, you don't need to. It's a it's a seven or eight year old camera. But uh, if you find one kicking around in the used bin at your local camera shop, or find one on eBay, or if you got a friend who's getting rid of one because they want to upgrade, take it off their hands. You will not regret it. This is such a great little camera, and like without the lens hood, like it's very very portable be a great travel camera. I could see myself traveling with just this, like leaving all my gear at home and just bringing this with me. It is that good. Um, yeah, X100, 100% WF LBC approved. 
Now I've got a couple uh, new things here that I'm going to be reviewing. First off, I, none of them are new, like they've been around for a while, but I've never reviewed them. So Fujifilm Canada has sent me the uh, 56 millimeter F1.4. Uh, this is a very well used sample copy. Uh, the focus ring is pretty loose and it's pretty banged up, but the elements look uh, pretty clean on it. It's probably kind of blasphemy to have it on this XA1. I know a lot of you people are not fans of my opinion of these XA series cameras, but I will be shooting this on my X-T20. Don't worry, it'll be the latest and greatest shooting with this. And I also have the 10-24 to F4. So this is a really wide angle zoom. I want to get out and shoot some landscapes with this thing. Uh, this is obviously on my X-T10. I may use this camera with this lens. I'll probably use the X-T20. So that's upcoming stuff I have. The 56mm f1.2 and the 10-24 to f4. I also have uh, the X-T100 coming hopefully this week. They're having a really hard time getting me the champagne one that I want. But I'm being a real stickler. I want that champagne color. So I'm patiently, patiently waiting to get it. It is hotter than here. It is 34 degrees. I am sweating. I've got a fan right here that I can't turn on because it's too noisy. So I'm going to stop talking and uh, turn this fan on and edit some video. And I will see you guys uh, next time. Whenever that is. It'll be one of those two lenses or the X-T100 or all three. Who knows? It's always an adventure here in the world of WFLBC. Uh, oh, it's too hot. Bye.